Hey guys, it's Stephanie Vining. Um, okay, so you know that I'm not exercising right now for a few days and I'm doing the sugar detox since I love, 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 love the sugar detox. If you haven't done it, reach out to me. It's amazing. But you really shouldn't exercise on it or moderate. So it kind of, I kind of thought if I'm not exercising anyways, this is great timing to do it. So it's also giving me lots of time to study and I forgot how much I hate to study and take tests. Oh my gosh, after the CPA exam, I vowed I would never take another test. I think I forgot about that when I signed up for this. So anyway, these are my notes so far, and I'm halfway done, you guys. And I've been doing this for four years. I already knew heaps. I am learning. It is just mind-blowing, and it's exciting because it's a passion of mine. So anyways, what I'm going to do is share some Coach's Corner. That's what they call it when it's like a tidbit um, with you here and there of things I want to either share or that I want you to calculate and try or test out, whatever. So, free advice, I hope you take it and check it out. So today, we're gonna talk about beverages. Okay, so the three most common, right, are water, wine, and coffee. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't had coffee for two days. Well, I don't drink coffee, but I haven't had any caffeine, so, um, I'm a little crazy, but okay. So let's talk about caffeine first. So I want you to actually calculate these things for you. So I want this to be the plan that is for you, not for the whole group, not for just the ladies and just the guys, but I want this to be your specific plan. And what I will tell you in this, and this is just all my honest feedback, you guys. Um, it has affirmed my belief and love for Shakeology products, and now I get it. Like some of the stuff I'm looking at it, and I don't know what every single BCAA in there is or every mineral, but now I do. And I'm like, wow, this shit's good, you guys. I spent $45 a month on these probiotics that I'm getting in Shakeology that I'm not buying again, right? That's $45 on a pill that isn't even a meal that I get with shakes. Anyways, I could go on a tangent, but I am like, hey, I'm glad I jumped in and chose this because I like the flavor and how it made me feel. And now I like it because the science behind it. But anyways, I digress. Okay, caffeine. So I want you to get on the scale and take your weight times 1.04 and times 1.08. And that range is what your caffeine level should be. So when I did that, what I realized is that two packets of Energize or two scoops or whatever is too much for me. For my body weight, that's too much caffeine. And I had no idea. I usually only take one. But when I travel, I tend to take two because of the jet lag and things like that. Not right away, not back to back. And it even says on there, if your body weight is XYZ, do not drink more than one a day. And I just thought, okay, well, I've really followed that rule. But um, now I know the science behind it. Two is too much for me. Okay, did you know caffeine can actually stimulate weight loss? Low doses, normal, moderate doses of caffeine. So that calculation I just gave you can do a couple things. Help stimulate weight loss, help increase your energy expenditure in your workout, and decrease what you think you're using. So... I guess what I'm saying is if I normally would burn 200 calories in a workout, maybe I'll burn 250, but I really feel like I'm probably doing 150 because the actual expenditure, the feeling from it is less. So it's called the happiness effect, which who doesn't get happiness effect from coffee? But anyways, because you're working harder than you think you are and that turnout makes people happy. So anyways, calculate that. And I would love to know below where you fall with the coffee thing. Are you, or caffeine, I'm sorry. I just always say coffee, but caffeine in general. Are you drinking too much? Could you drink more? Are you right there? Do you not have any caffeine? Um, the caffeine and Energize is from green tea. So it's natural, it's 100 um, milligrams per packet. So two of those is too much um, for me, but it might be great for you. So let me know. Okay, then we're gonna talk about water. So I want you to weigh yourself nude. Yep, birthday suit. Um, I want you to be totally naked and weigh yourself before you work out, okay? 
And then after you work out, get totally naked again. You're gonna get in the shower anyway, so this is easy. And weigh yourself again, because your clothing, after it's covered in sweat, isn't gonna be a true tail, okay? So that is your before and after. That's how much water you lost during your workout. And you guys, people can lose like three or five pounds depending on what they're doing, working out. That's water weight, you guys, okay? You're sweating it out. Um, then I want you to add back in how much water you drink. So when you're doing this, I don't have my water bottle with me, but mine actually, it's a Tervis mug, actually says the ounces on the side. So know how much you're drinking. When I work out, I usually drink a whole 20 ounce container of that. Um, and then see if you cannot pee, okay? If you can hold your bladder the whole workout, then this will be the best, um, exact, closest amount that you should be drinking. Um, each day because you want to replenish what you're sweating, right? Okay, if that doesn't feel like enough for you, then when you wake up in the morning, have a 250 milliliter bottle of water, that's one full water, or two, 250 to 500, that should be enough for you during the day. So our wide range for beach body for all the population is to drink your body weight in ounces, right? Half your body weight in ounces, minimum, max body weight in ounces, probably a max. Okay, but this is more specific. So, uh, since I've learned this, I want you to try it, okay? Let me know that below too. Okay, and then the last one is alcohol. So, we're really trying to abstain from it um, when we're doing these programs. But the other thing about this is, Beach Body is all about a lifestyle. So, we're not dieting, okay? So, it's not like we're gonna go all in for eight weeks and then throw it out the window and party up, okay? Um, no joke. Literally, I have a client that did a three-day refresh, lost six pounds, was so excited, went out partying, drank a crap load, and got a DUI that night. Seriously, so many things are wrong with this. She's not in this group, so I can share this video. You guys, okay, the goal is not to go all in, perfect on nutrition, perfect on exercise, perfect on everything, and then lose it. I would say 90-10, okay, because 10% is life where you mishaps happen, or you go out and you want a glass of wine, or you packed all your snacks, you did all your meal prep, and you forgot your cooler, you know, whatever, you're traveling. That's the 10%, okay? Maybe 20% if you're already at your goals and you're just maintaining. But um, this ebb and flow thing, it's bad for your body, it's bad for your mind, and it gets you nowhere, okay? so. Let's commit to making this a lifestyle. It's not a diet. I've done this for four years and I have only stayed consistent or gotten better, but I have not put any weight back on in four years. And I have traveled the world. I think we were in six countries last year. So you guys, it is doable. It is strictly a mindset and that is the best thing about Beachbody to me. Okay, so for drinking, women, one drink a day, drink. That's four ounces, you guys. Okay, so the problem with um, drinking is that one leads to two leads to many, right? So if you don't think you can really only do one, then I would say zero. But if you can actually do one and stop, I can do that now. It was harder before. Um, but now I drink it slower, I enjoy it more, and too much keeps me awake at night anyways. So one per day, but not more than five in a week. So obviously you're not having one every single night. Okay, guys, two per day but not more than seven in a week. So again, you're not having two every single day. That'd be 14, right? So maybe some days you only have one, some days you don't have any. This is for life. I am not saying to every week you can have five glasses of wine and get results. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, truth. So we've covered caffeine, water, and alcohol. I would love to know where you fall in this below. Um, and check in because I think on caffeine, even though I don't drink coffee, I have gotten a little slack on that. And the side effects you get, the jitteriness, the anxiousness, the insomnia, all of that is when you have over that amount. Okay. Um, and actually too much caffeine can be lethal. Did you know that? Hello. Um, so anyways, check in. I'd love to hear what you think. Also, tell me if you want these little coaches corner tips. It does not offend me. It's time out of my day, I'm happy to do it. But if you guys um, don't really care, let me know. Okay, I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope everything is going great. And I will talk to you soon.
for our next Coach Corner. All right, bye.